might give us to uh, see if there's any other things that we have missed here. So we have uh, the sold equipment. So we have taken that journal entry into consideration. We have the purchase here, uh, purchased equipment. We have taken a look at that. We had the borrowed short-term loan from the bank. So if we verify that, the short-term loan, we borrowed 5,000 from the bank for cash. So there's that 5,000 that looks correct here. Then we see the next piece of information they give us is paid to reduce the long-term debt. So we paid cash to reduce the long-term debt. So that should be on the cash flow statement in financing. So, uh, so here's cash paid on long-term debt, the 47.5. So it does look like that is the correct number. So therefore we've verified this item. So we're gonna say that's our last yellow item. It looks like it's correct according to the added information that we have here, 47.5, declared dividends of 53.6. That's the dividends that we paid. So we should have 53.6 in the financing activities. And we look down here, we have the 53.6 in the financing activities. So now this is basically our ending number. The, the 123.450 now ties out to the ending part of the cash. Uh, 123.450, that's what would be on the balance sheet. And if I hide these two columns, we're gonna put my cursor on I, highlight, uh, I'm putting my cursor on, sorry, H. I'm gonna highlight to J then let go, right click and hide. Then this is basically our cash flow statement. This is our adjusted cash flow statement, our ending numbers. We have uh, the net income here. We've got cash flow from operating activities, cash flows from investing activities, cash flows from financing activities. This would be the change in cash and we have the beginning cash and then this will be the ending cash on the year.